How do we build a real Jurassic Park? Well, first you'd need the most important ingredient, dinosaur DNA. But here's the thing, DNA degrades over time, and after 65 million years, it's practically dust. Even in perfect conditions, DNA breaks into pieces after just a few thousand years. So, despite what the movies show, we've never found a complete strand of dinosaur DNA. Sometimes we find fossilized bones or even traces of soft tissue, but that's not enough to build a genome. Jurassic Park suggested mixing in frog DNA to fill in the gaps. Sounds clever, but in reality, mixing species doesn't give you a dinosaur. It gives you a genetic Frankenstein, unpredictable and not authentic. Let's say somehow, miraculously, we do reconstruct a full dinosaur genome. Now we need a surrogate to grow it in. Dinosaurs laid eggs, so we'd need a bird-like creature, maybe a chicken since birds evolved from theropod dinosaurs. But good luck getting a chicken to hatch a T-Rex. And even if we got a baby dino out, we're not done. Dinosaurs didn't live in isolation. They were part of an entire ecosystem with plants, bacteria, prey, predators, and a very different atmosphere. We'd need to recreate that environment or risk the dinosaurs dying off quickly. That's a lot harder than just cloning one animal. Now here's where it gets exciting. While we can't revive dinosaurs, scientists are working on de-extinction, bringing back animals like the woolly mammoth by editing elephant DNA. That's possible because their DNA is much more recent, only a few thousand years old, and frozen specimens still exist. So, can we build Jurassic Park? Not yet. Maybe not ever for dinosaurs, 